Are we going to have to stay like this for very long? For about another seven seconds. Do you think they'll think we're props if, they, if we just stay like this? They might do. Oh. job interview about coming in at 7 a.m. and doing exercises for an hour. Be honest, Joe. Would you have taken the job if they had? Of course not. That's probably why they didn't mention it. You're going to like this place, Joe. The people are nice, the uniforms are nice, and the food. Well, the uniforms are nice. I still don't see why we have to exercise. How are they the hamburgers, anyway? Oh, it would probably be a few sit-ups and the odd physical jerk. Everybody decent. We're coming in. <laughs> and speaking of odd physical jerks. Well, girls, what do you think? Mr. Universe. Mr. Galaxy. <laughs> Mr. Bass this morning. I had to walk. <laughs> what a shower. I take it all back. This exercise class is vital. <laughs> hey, can you believe this girl? She's here five minutes and already she's insulting us. I think you've shown great restraint. I don't know, you've managed to last the whole five minutes. <laughs> Mr. Galaxy! So, uh, Joe, what do you think about working at SPAT so far? The hours aren't as good as my last job. What was your last job? I was unemployed. <laughs> well, all I can say is that this exercise programme is a fantastic idea. I was perfectly happy with the all morning exercise programme. Falling out of bed in five minutes of deep wheezing. <laughs> you know what they say. Healthy mind, healthy body. And they're a third choice. Okay, boys, move that table over there. Everybody find a place on the floor. Come on, we don't have all day. Uh, are you going to come out of that thing? Or do you want us all to come in there and join you? I can't have visitors. The place is a mess. <laughs> Miss Hanson, may I say before we start, what an exciting and challenging concept this training exercise is. No. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Hanson, can you make Vince put his eyes back in his head? Vince, cut it out. Boys, no drooling. And girls, no whining. Now let's get going. Wait a second. Where's TJ? It's Strickland. He's stringing up the ice. He sees the defenders. He breaks through. It's one thing. He shoots. He scores! Yeah! The hockey team? A big game tonight? I'm the coach? You're counting on me? Strickland? I'm ready for exercise. <laughs> now remember, kid, no pain, no gain. I've already got a pain, and you can guess where it is. We're just going to start with a few simple stretching exercises. Who knows? Maybe you'll stretch enough so you can see over the counter. And five, six, seven, eight, and stretch. Two, three, four, and toe. Two, don't bend your knees. Strickland, and up. Three, this is fabulous. four, and down. help you already. Two, three, four, and lunge. Two, three, where are you going? I said lunch. I said lunch. And lunge. Come on, now you can do better than that. Oh, look, if I wanted to be in a commando unit, I'd have joined the army. It's a real shame your body isn't as well developed as your mouth. This is stupid. Yeah, you're right. Total waste of perfectly good energy. And jumping jacks. And one, two, three. This obviously isn't challenging enough for some people. So, TJ, could you come up here and show these flabby Brits a good old Canadian squat thrust? Woo! Yeah, go on, TJ. Hey. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody who isn't genuine 
genuinely hurt, get back up on your feet. I'm sure this wouldn't have happened if he'd had his hockey helmet on. Can you move your toes? Yeah, I think so. Can you move your arms? Oh. Okay, then keep them moving for the rest of the workout. <laughs> My arms, my legs, even my hair hurts. Look, look, if I don't recover, I want my body donated to science. Science isn't that desperate. <laughs> oh, it even hurts to insult you. Oh, stupid getting up early in the morning. Stupid exercise class. And that stupid Karen. How? <laughs> what is going on here? about that great workout this morning. <laughs> yes, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Why aren't you changed? We have a restaurant to run here. How TJ? TJ? He's fine. Oh, he's probably just faking for the sympathy. Of course, he might have hurt himself when Stanley dropped him, helping him into the ambulance. <laughs> well, we can have to do this every day. This wasn't part of the job description. Complain, complain. You guys should be grateful for these classes. I mean, um, can we talk? <laughs> Look at you. I know why you want to hide inside that circus tent, Lily. You're ashamed of your body. I would be, too. Now, I know that you can't help being short and squat, but it's no excuse to let yourself get out of shape. And that goes for all of you guys. You're all just a bunch of unfit weenies. You're so right, Miss Hanson. I was just saying that to the weenies this morning. You know, I know that we can't all be blessed with perfect bodies, like mine. <laughs> so Stanley looks a little like an anorexic carrot, and some Christmas puddings have more femininity than Debbie, but hey, that is why I am trying to help you guys. Well, we could stand around and talk about how fabulous I look all day, but that won't sell burgers. So let's get moving, all right? I wonder how she gets herself and her ego into that little outfit. Thank you very much. Enjoy your meal. He obviously doesn't think I'm a Christmas pudding. I'd rather be a pudding than a carrot. Want a swap? Yeah. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. I don't look like a weenie, do I? Hard to say, Dex. I haven't the faintest idea what a weenie is. <laughs> oh, TJ. How do you feel? Great. Really great. Fabulous. You look like you're in agony. Me? Agony? Don't make me laugh. Please, don't make me laugh. Then why are you wearing that thing around your neck? Because I look silly in pearls. Come on, guys, I'm fine, really. Oh, yeah. And what did the doctor say? I don't know. I was afraid to ask. Mad Dog, Hammer, and Axeman are depending on me. Who? It's my hockey team. I gotta be there. If I don't, the Hammer will take over. You're gonna coach a hockey team in your condition? I'm a Canadian. It's my duty to play hockey. <laughs> if you want my advice, TJ, I'd forget all about playing hockey tonight. Unless you're planning on using a crutch as a hockey stick. Ah. Stanley! Stanley? Uh, could you go up to the office and grab my personal file from the computer? I need some information on my health insurance. No problem. Anything I can do to make you feel better. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? This. Oh, I've just tapped into the personal file for TJ. i no kidding. But who else is in there? Oh, everybody. You, me, Lily. Joe? Oh, free gossip. Shove over. Oh, you shouldn't really. Hello. Jackpot time. I wonder what it says about me. This one? Rotten lies. That was never proved. <laughs> Why, Stanley? Do you want to have a bit of fun? You mean spitting off Waterloo Bridge after work? <laughs> no. No, not quite, no. No, I mean, let's lift up Karen's spine and take a peek. Oh, I couldn't. It's private and confidential. Come on, Stan. 
Be a devil. Well... If you uh, don't, I'll tell everyone your middle name's Elvis. No. Stanley Elvis. All right, all right, all right, I'll do it. Ah, interesting. Print it. What did you mean? I'm supposed to be at the grill. What would you like to know about Karen Hansen? How soon till she retires? <laughs> no, no. I mean, good stuff. Deepest, darkest, personal stuff. Like she was on the school wrestling team. What? Yeah, Hulk Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what have you got there? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Just a gift from the gods. Karen Hansen's personal files. Where did you get that? A little carrot gave it to me. Hey, let me see. Let me see? Hey, there's even a photo. Looks like an old one. <laughs> I reckon she must have smiled in those days. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Someone looks funny. Not quite right. It's a nose. It's different. No, no, now it's different. That's an old photo. Our oh, Karen's had a nose job. A nose job. Oh. <laughs> and her going on and on about her perfect body. Ha! Yeah. I bet every bump and curve's been bought and paid for. <laughs> Karen's had a nose fixed. What? what are you talking about? Here, look at this picture. Where did you get that? None of your business. Oh, look. Here's something else as well. Today is Karen's birthday. <laughs> Gee. I wonder if it's too late to get her a present. <laughs> Give it a rest, Dex. Hey, that's not a bad idea. A surprise party. She might start to like us. A party's a really good way to make friends. Especially if there's ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'll tell you what, leave it to me. I'll take care of everything. That's very nice of you, Vince. Yeah, well, I'm a very nice guy. So come on, everybody, chip in. Yeah, it's going to be a surprise, all right. I'm waiting to hear what it is. I'll never get away with that. But I love it. <laughs> Hurry up. She'll be here in a minute. Oh, that's really good, Stanley. Right, I've got the cake. I made the card. Oh, let me see. Uh, it's a surprise, remember? It's not fair. You two are doing everything. Who died and made you king? We just want to make sure it's done right. Yeah. Yeah, we want our can to get the treatment she deserves. She's coming, she's coming! Oh, TJ's not back yet. He crawled out of here half an hour ago to get Karen a present. Oh, well, that's too bad. I just have to learn how to limp faster. OK, everybody, put your party gear on. Stanley, hit the lights. What idiot. Closed the restaurant and forgot to lock the door. What idiot closed the restaurant and forgot to lock the door? Happy, Happy birthday! Who told you it was my birthday? Uh, a little birdie whispered it in my nose. I'm in here. <laughs> well, thank you very much. We made you a card, too. Oh, Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Oh, <laughs> cute. You know how much we love you. You know how much we care. And if you need us, goodness knows, you knows that we'll be there. Love from all the staff. Gee, thanks. What's with all this nose stuff? All right, let's get this show on the road. Here, you better get into the party spirit. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't like to change your nose, Miss Hanson? Oh, uh, you all shouldn't have gone to so much trouble for me. I think they're blowing Karen's nose out of all proportion. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I almost forgot. We got you a cake. Mm. Oh. This party isn't exactly turning out to be a career move. Ta -da. <laughs> oh, that is really mean. <laughs> Ready up for return? <laughs> Well, this certainly is some surprise. One that I'm not going to forget in a hurry. I think we should all agree not to mention birthdays or noses again. Sorry, I'm late. Happy birthday, Karen. 
Something a girl like you can always use. Handkerchiefs. <laughs> How did those scheming little delinquents find out I had my nose fixed? You had your nose fixed? And you chose that one? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very nice. It suits you. <laughs> I think I've had just enough childish insults for one day. Oh, oh, I get it. The kids have been picking on your nose, have they? <laughs> Strickland? Look, there are just some things about my private life that I don't wish to have bandied about all over town, okay? Okay. Somebody's been sticking their nose in my personal file. <laughs> See, it's contagious. <laughs> There's no other way they could have found out. There. You can see it in my old picture. That is serious. They shouldn't have done that. I'll have a talk with them. No, forget it. Let's just leave it, okay? No, I, I, I don't think we should. I, I'm going to go down there and rub their noses in it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I shouldn't be so sensitive. But let's just drop it. Karen, I'm impressed. You know, it's really good to see that you can take something like this on the chin. I can still say chin, can't I? You haven't had that fixed, too, have you? <laughs> <laughs> and then, when TJ came up and in with those, I kissed <laughs> Oh, we couldn't have planned it any better. Oh, uh, Debbie, my darling, we need some more napkins out here. Do I smell or something? Or something. Hey, Dex, do you fancy going to that new club tonight? Hello? Hello? Have I turned invisible or what? Excuse me? <clears throat> I think we're getting the cold shoulder here. I'm beginning to get frostbite. Oh, come on, what is this? Did you hear a voice, Millie? I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. I didn't see anything. I heard them. It was Vince and Joe. Here they are. Can't you see? Thank you. Why aren't you talking to us? That was a bit mean, what you did to Karen last night. Well, she had it coming to her. Yeah, yeah, she's been getting right on my nose. It's about time we got up hers. <laughs> anyway, she started it. All those things she said about our funny-looking bodies. You didn't have to hurt her feelings. I told you not to talk to them, Stanley. So now, thanks to you two, she probably thinks we're part of your stupid little joke. Oh, look, what do you want me to do? Apologise? You've got to be joking. Well, if you don't, then oh, I will. Ah, uh, Miss Hanson. Yes, Derwin? Dexter. <laughs> yes, Dexter? Yeah, about last night, I'd just like to say I had nothing to do with it. It was these two. Honestly, Miss Hanson, we had no idea. Oh, that's okay. You don't have to apologize. It was a good little joke. If there's one thing you can say about Karen Hansen, she has a sense of humor. So carry on. Carry on. TJ, milkshakes aren't the answer. I missed my game last night. What happened? I was on the way to the rink. My crutch got stuck in a manhole cover. Don't you just hate it when that happens? <laughs> Come on, TJ, it's only a game. Only a game? Tell that to Mad Dog Hammer and Axe Man. I let the team down last night. You know how that makes me look? They'll forgive you, TJ. These guys never forgive. They hate losing. I just hope it wasn't too bad. Ah, there you are. I've just been telling the others about our extra workout class tomorrow. Extra? Yeah, well, after the other day's little fiasco, we thought we'd step up our efforts a bit. So I'll see you at six then, okay? Six in the morning? You don't want to be the only one's not there. 
So don't be late. Bye. Oh, she's got to be joking. Well, let's look on the bright side. At least somebody's talking to us. Where is everybody? We're the only ones in here. Hello? Oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, hang on a sec. If we're the only ones here, how come the door's open? Oh, I don't believe this. Would you fancy a coffee while we're waiting? Yeah, three sugars. Right. Don't hold it right there. Don't move. You, round here. I think it's the gander. Both of you. Now. Uh, Constable, we were just... PC 306 to HQ. I've got a breaking and entering at Spat's restaurant. Two suspects apprehended. They look like an ugly pair to me. Think you better send special patrol. But, Mr. PC 306, sir, we didn't break in. Oh, what? You just walked through the door then, did you? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. We did. It was open and we just... I'm a good girl, honest. Yeah, I'm a good girl, too. Don't you get lippy with me, sunshine. Uh, your constable sir. We're not here to break and enter. We're here to exercise. What do you take me for, Sonny? No, it's true. We came in early to do our exercise class. Oh, yes. And I know what your idea of exercise is. A quick run round the cash register, hmm? No, real exercise. I'll show you. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Look, if we want to avoid a long stretch, we better do a long stretch. I'm still not convinced. Look at me. I only sweat when I'm telling the truth. Yes, well, now you look as if you know what you're doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, we do, we do. You're really into it. Yeah, yeah, we are, we are. So you like exercise? Oh, oh we, we love, love it, it. We, we love, love it. it. Well, have you ever thought of telling your boss that, eh? No, 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 but we would, we would. Well, perhaps you should say, Miss Hanson, we love exercise. Miss Hanson, we, we love, love exercise. <laughs> <laughs> an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, and a nose for a nose. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That's the right. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> but you're a policeman. Nigel Barrington, actor. A vibrant performance. I laughed, I cried, I thank you. Of course, in the hands of a lesser player, the part of PC-306 may well have been a shallow and one-dimensional role. Yeah, yeah, uh, thanks. Bye. But I'll let you into my secret. It's all in the torch. I'll remember that. You see, you get the torch right, and the rest of the character simply falls into place. The check is in the mail. <laughs> Good old cow. What an exceptionally brilliant idea that was. <laughs> well done, Karen. You're one of the gang, all right. <laughs> Look, let's get something straight here. My name is Miss Hanson. I am not one of the gang. And this is probably the last time you will ever see me smile. <laughs> so let's get changed, because we're all here for a workout. Oh, Miss Hanson, you've got to tell us how you staged all that stuff. Yeah. You want to know something? You're just too darn nosy. <laughs> <laughs> On next week's episode of Spats... You have forgotten. What? The first day crawl. You got it. Oh, does it have to be tonight? I'm going to see a band. Mm. Oh. Now that's what I thought the response. You see these? They used to be too small on me. Oh! Two, three! <laughs> Woo! Oh, hey. Hey. Why can't you just leave me alone? I really don't.
Yes, there'll be more from Spectre at the same time next week. Can you hear me, Jan? No, I can't. Can what you, you hear think? me, Clive? <laughs> Tomorrow afternoon, Hot Dog finds out that friendship is more important than money. That's right, and there's a brand new series of the adventures of Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy and Grubby go in search of the treasure of Wendell again, Jan. Golly, yes. And at 20 to 5 in Press Gang, Sarah lets Linda down. And our special guests tomorrow are Christian and Neil from Halo 2.